Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you my whole entire handbag and SLG collection. Um, this won't include wall, um, sorry, this won't include jewelry or silk scarves or anything, um, just strictly SLGs and handbags. Um, so first off, I'll go off by saying this is not a bragging video or anything. This is just solely for people who enjoy these types of videos and who are curious to see what is in my collection now because I've added some and I've um, eliminated some. So the first, uh, first off, I'll start off is with my Louis Vuitton handbags. Um, so firstly, I'll go, um, my first one here is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in the Damier Ben and it's um or it's, it's luggage tag that I have here in um hot stamped as the goat here and a lot of people have actually asked me about this goat here hot stamping it it is actually um only for our Chinese New Year uh, season which happens around end of January beginning of February and um yeah, I, I believe they only do this hot semi at the um, flagship stores or the standalone stores because I guess they have more of a selection or whatever. But um, yeah, definitely check your local um, standalone Louis Vuitton boutique. Um, and yeah, I love this handbag a lot. I use this as a rainy day handbag. Um, I'll be using this a lot in the winter. I haven't used this in the winter as much. But, or uh, I will be uh, this coming winter. Um, and it still actually still has the new bag smell and still has the creases you can see here. Because I don't use it very often because it hasn't really been raining as often here. So, it's that. And um, next one is my most recent LV purchase and is the... Louis Vuitton monogram Neverfull, and the interior color is rose ballerine. So you can see it there. Um, and here's its pouch it comes with. I'm still planning on actually going back to the store and exchanging this because there is um, some glazing coming off the corner here. You can see the little white spots there and there, and just around. The stitching there so I am going to be exchanging that um, fairly soon with them but anyways I took this out with me this handbag with me to New York two times on my two trips and I absolutely love love using this it held quite a lot and I am quite surprised why I did not get this sooner when it was a lot cheaper than when I got it but anyways that's another story um, and so my next one here I'll show is my Alma BB in the Epi leather and the color here is called Pivon. Um, it is, it's actually shown up pretty, almost true to color here. It's almost like a lighter fuchsia Barbie pink color. Um, this here I, I use secondly to rainy days or yeah snowy days. Second to my speedy when I feel like I don't want to carry a lot of stuff. Um, and Or I just want to feel a little bit more um, chick or cutesy I guess you could say because this is a pretty cute handbag. Um, and I love the silver hardware on it. I'm a huge silver hardware fan. Um, and this is my only LV that is in silver hardware so... Um, next one I will show is my twin set, um, in the Emprunt, um, leather and in the color Cerise, I think it's called, and, um, I use this for traveling as well or for days where, um, I want to be, feel compact, but yet I have a lot, I still have all my essentials in here, um. It's a very handy bag. It's a crossbody handbag. Um, it's a pretty, still a pretty new handbag, and um, I can't get enough of this uh, little little handbag because it's so handy. It's so useful. Um, I I even like got the matching clay here, which has the same face 
as the um, as the twin set here um, and they're actually like the same color almost basically um, but they call this cherry and this one cerise so um, and I use the clay a lot as a small wallet because it's very compact and skinny or I use this strictly just for random cards or whatnot so that's that Next handbag here is my favorite PM in the monogram. This is my very first Louis Vuitton piece um, that I've actually bought in store. And I absolutely love this piece. I wear this a lot for casual days or for days where, you know, I'm, I'm just not feeling to be, um, you know, fashionable, I guess you could say. So I just bring this along with me and it... You know, I, this is a very comfortable bag. It's very light, it's small, um, it holds a lot more than you think, and it actually, actually it holds an iPad mini without a, without a case, so that's really cool about this handbag. Um, and with this handbag, I also purchased um, the long strap in canvas, monogram canvas here, um, just strictly because at the time I didn't like the Vachetta uh, Vachetta, um strap. I wanted this here and I think that this strap looks really really good with um, the PM like that. So that's that's mainly why I bought it and also I bought this strictly for my my ellipse PM which I did sell because I was not using it and the shape was just not fitting. Um, my needs it wasn't holding all the stuff that i wanted to hold and it was actually quite weird like oddly shaped because the base was so small and then the sides were really big but they're really skinny so you couldn't really fit anything else in there but um so yeah that's why i bought this here and next i want to show is my mini pochette here in the monogram and this is the christmas 2014 edition um, I love this little piece. I use this for my odds and ends, um, like to carry my lipsticks, hand cream, um, feminine products, and hair elastics or, you know, other random stuff. It's that. And my next item here is my only wallet, only large wallet from Louis Vuitton. And it is the Noir um, multicolor, and the interior is Grenade. This is my only large uh, Louis Vuitton wallet. Actually, my only proper wallet from Louis Vuitton. Um, when I saw this, I was in love, especially because they're actually discontinuing it. So I purchased this within a heartbeat, and I do not regret... Um, getting this um, at all. It's really handy. Um, the compartments are very, very um, generous and it's actually a pretty skinny wallet, um, like depth wise. Um, and yeah, and this can actually fit an iPhone 6, maybe a 6 plus without a case, but uh, definitely it does fit an iPhone 6 with an otter case. So love that wallet. Next item here is my clay. This is my only um, like small original clay I have from Louis Vuitton. This is in the monogram canvas. I use this to carry my keys and my metro card or you know other important things that I use on a daily day basis in here. Um, and I love this because I never tend to lose my keys or my metro card, which is really handful handy because um, I'm notorious for misplacing things. Um, and yeah, I think that's really about it. Yeah. Um, so I'll move on with, um, another one and is my Prada, mini Prada handbags here. This is the Safiano Luxe Tote and this is the Promenade, I guess their version of the Alma, but these are just very mini handbags. The reason I got the mini sizes is because... Um, I wanted something really fun and different, so, and when I saw these from Prada, I jumped on it right away, 
and um, these actually hold quite a lot for its size. Um, I'm actually I actually feel really comfortable um, using both of them on a daily day basis. Basis if I had to, I just have to minimize the sizes of my SLGs and minimize the sizes of of other things that I need to use. And these really do come in handy. Um, because I have small hands and small wrists, I can actually put my hand. So yes, as I was saying, I can actually put my hand through it and actually hold it almost in the crook of my arm, kind of like this. Um, but if you have larger hands, I don't think you can, but um, you can definitely hold both like so. And they come both come with crossbody straps and that's really, really handy um, for these types of bags. Um, and I do have a card holder. I just, it's, I forgot to pull it out, but I do have it. Um, it's basically a, a small flap card case, and I use that mostly for my mini bags here from Prada, um, just because A, I want it to match, and also it's very compact, so, and it leaves me a lot of space um, in those handbags. Um, next, I will do is my... Christian Louboutin handbag here. This is the, I think it's called the Selena or Serena. I forget the name of it already, but um, I purchased this last summer, so exactly a year ago. And um, I use this mainly as my fall bag because of its, um, I guess you could say it's like fur or cow hair. Um, on the front here and the heavy use of the leather textures so this is very like it's like flat leather and this is all um, pebbled leather and then you have the very heavy um, calf hair um, and oh and then you have the suede sides so um, this really does hold a lot it's a very different bag than all my other ones it's not square it's not a rectangle it's like an obtuse like it's almost like an alma a little bit like kind of reversed um, where or something I don't know but um, yeah and the only way you can carry this is as a cross long crossbody but um, yeah, so I use that handbag a lot in the fall, winter time. Uh, next is my Fendi Petite Toujours. And it's a little um, bag charm, the Fendi Monster, that I purchased separately. And I'll get into this little guy uh, a little bit after. But yeah, this is essentially what the handbag looks like um, without the monster and I love this I always try to refrain myself from using this too often because this is such a handy bag it's a small handbag but it holds a lot of stuff you can actually fit documents in here um, large size wallets and still keep a lot of more stuff in here I've actually put a scarf in here and it holds a ton of stuff um, and I love the organization it has inside here almost like the GST um, but with no side pockets inside, but, um, I love using this handbag, and it has a long strap, um, and now the Fendi Monster, I mostly bought this for the purpose of this handbag, because they go hand in hand, the Safiano face of the Monster is the same Safiano leather as the front here, and, um, yeah, they just look, they just complement each other very, very well, even though that there's silver miss, there's, like, metal mismatching here, because the bag is actually gold tone, whereas the monster is a silver tone, but you don't really notice it, um, so, that's that. And now, my last one here is from Burberry. And it is the mini orchard in a pink um, calf leather, I think. Yeah, in pebble calf leather. Um, this is a great little small summer bag. Um, I purchased this at the outlet mall in that we have in Toronto, um, and it really it really does come in handy at times. Um, you know, when I don't want to wear um, like such a loud logo. Printed like Louis Vuitton monogram, 
I just carry this around me and it's it asks, it's really cute in the summertime. So it's that. Um, next I'll show is my Chanel uh, collection and I'll start off with the wallets and then I'll get into the handbags. So um, first one here is my Chanel card case in the patent red leather and in silver hardware and the large CC's ha are, um, what's it called, um, bedded or have quilting on the um, silver hardware here and I absolutely love this. The patent leather is super strong. Um, I haven't witnessed any um, color transfer or anything so this is amazing um and the this card case here holds a ton of stuff i use this sometimes as a mini wallet but i use this mostly to hold my random like points or rewards cards and my work badge as you can see here so um and it's really small um can fit this in almost any handbag basically or basically in every handbag so it's that and next wallet here is from chanel again in the it's called the Elzip wallet in lambskin leather and in silver hardware. This is my very first wallet and one of the first two that of me, you know, um, dealing with Chanel. Um, and I actually wish I got this in caviar or calfskin or even patent leather because the lambskin is super, super soft. So um, where you are going to see visible wear and tears a lot uh, more. Um, mo for me, mostly it's just on the corners here. Not that big of a deal because all SL like all leather goods are going to have that. But I just wish... Like, I, I don't use that mainly f because this is a very delicate um, wallet. Even the interior is lambskin as well. So I have to be very, very careful of what I put in it and how I use it. But I love the functionality of this wallet. It holds a ton of cards. Um, to be honest with you, if I were to fill up this whole, all of these slots here, I don't think I would need a second card case. But um, I mainly just use this in large um, handbags that don't require a zip so that the zipper doesn't eat at the corners um, of, or the edges of the, hand, of the wallet. Um, next here is my wallet on chain and it's in also in lambskin as well and in silver hardware. This is my very first piece in my whole entire collection um, and I've actually had no problems with using this. It has, I do see some like wear and just around here and folding marks and I've had this for almost coming up to two years um, so it's definitely over a year and a half mark but um, I really really love this piece it holds a lot for its size and it's just classic I use this a lot for formal events or when I have to dress up a little bit more formally and next SLG from Chanel this is my last SLG from Chanel is my classic flap trifold wallet in the patent leather and silver hardware in the color navy you can see the navy color a little bit better there um and i got this silly because i wanted this to match with my jumbo unfortunately um this does take up a lot of space in the jumbo so i don't use this as, as often in my jumbo i use this mo ma sorry mostly for my gst or for my other larger handbags like my fendi or my um speedy um and yeah this but i really do love the the um organization the compartments in this wallet here um it's just a stunning piece and it actually still smells it still has the leather smell it's kind of faint but um i really do love this uh, little piece i love everything chanel actually so um and yeah that's it for my slg collection from chanel so now i'll get into handbags from chanel um First off, I'll show you is my GST here in black caviar leather and silver hardware. Um, I use this for uh, days where I need to, where I know I need to carry a lot of stuff, like when I'm going into seminars at work or conferences or meetings, and um, one night stay overs at a friend's house or at my boyfriend's house or whatever. So, um, 
yeah, and it's a very organized bag and everything. So I, I haven't taken out the stuffing yet, but uh, it's a very organized handbag. I love this a lot. Um, this is my very first large handbag from Chanel. Um, or actually my very first actual legit handbag in Sh from Chanel. So, um, yeah, I really do love the quality of the caviar. This is my very first caviar um handbag or piece as well so yeah um next one here is my chanel Le boy bag and if you have not followed me on instagram um i've been spamming this handbag like crazy and it is my chanel Le boy in the medium old medium size and it's in calfskin in red and in silver ruthenium hardware or ruthenium, I can't pronounce it, but um, it is in silver hardware, just a, a non-polished silver hardware. And yeah, this is the most comfortable handbag I own in my whole collection. To be honest with you, um, more comfortable than my Neverfull, more comfortable than my twin set, way more comfortable than um, my my GST. Like basically, all all the handbags because of this leather strap um it's so soft and um it's just this bag really exudes it does look exude luxury but um in a different way than the classic flap but yeah i have been using this quite often lately ever since i got it i can't stop thinking about it she um or he rather is really my what my second i would say my second um holy grail handbag next to my jumbo and which leads me to my chanel jumbo here my last handbag in my collection i'm going to feature here in this video um she's in black caviar with silver hardware and it's in the jumbo size this is probably the fourth largest third third fourth largest handbag I have in my collection and I absolutely adore her um everywhere I go it's a showstopper um you know there's no other words I can describe her and this is one bag that I will never never sell um if I had to get rid of all my handbags this is the, this is the one that would have to be left in my whole collection um I can't part with her so yeah and that is basically my um whole collection let me know in the comments below what you think of my collection um if you want if you have any questions on any of these please comment below or you can ask me on instagram um katherine is a cat and i will get back to you guys right away um on my instagram more more often than my youtube but yeah i thank you all for watching and i hope you all have a great day Bye bye